Okay, so I've gone back to this icon here and I have put um, these at the back of the um, images. So I've done object, arrange, centre back. So that's now sitting behind the picture which is locked. Um, I went in a bit too early to use the shape builder tool. So what it did was it um, broke up the actual circle. So I went back in and put in a new circle. Uh, and I think there's a better way to do the line work. So um, to do that, uh, you get the pen tool and you click on the, you want to click on the line because down the track you're going to join all of these works. So if you see that blue line show up of the horizontal line, you know that it's joined. So click on there and go down to the bottom. I'm not holding the shift key because it's not a straight line, but I am trying to go into the line there. Uh, and then it wants to keep going, so what I do then is I just go back, click on the selection tool, click on the pen tool again. And then I will go up to the line, I can see it selected again, and then down here trying to trace it as, as well as possible. Uh, something that you need to keep in mind with when you're doing this is that you zoom in as much as you can when you're working on an area. It makes it much easier um, to refine your work. And you um, should also work in wireframe. So if I go to wireframe, I can see that line is actually overlapped down here. So I can select it with the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, and I can just drag it back up to the line. And then I'll zoom out and zoom back in to where I want to go. Control Y shows I can see the picture again. So then I'm going to get the pen tool and I'm going to go to the outside of the circle and click here and take the pen tool across. This time I'm going to hold down the shift key because I want a perfectly horizontal straight line. And then I'm going to try and keep the spacing um, of the lines the same uh, so that they're parallel to each other. So I'm going down like that. If I'm not happy with that, I can go in with a direct selection tool and I can move it. Um, but I think that's fine for now. And then down here, I'm going to come down to the line. I'm going to go up and again, try and keep it parallel. And I want to keep it in line with the horizontal line that I had just created. So you can see the pink um, line showing up to show me that that's there. So I click there, hold down the shift key to go across. And then I'm going back down and again I want to try and keep it parallel, which means that it's not quite looking right. Um, so then to deselect it, so the space here on the left is a bit different to the right. So I need to tidy that up a bit. So I'll zoom in a bit more so that I can see the whole of that shape on the page. Uh, so if I click with the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow, that means I can just select a node and move that independently of the rest of the line work. Okay, so that, I think that space in there is better. And then I want to move both of these lines at the same time because I think it is quite parallel. So I click on the top um, node up here and then I'll go down here, hold down the shift key and then click on this one. So shift key adds to your selection. And then with both of them, I'm going to hold down the shift key so it keeps the same horizontal line up the top and move it into place like that. Okay, so I'm happier with that space there than over here because I'm zoomed in. I can see it's not as perfect as it could be. So I'll just, with the direct selection tool, play around with it until I get that into place. All right, so now I can zoom out. So I've got the teeth um, right on the left-hand side. So then I'm going to, now I think I'll just lock everything else into place. So object, lock, selection. Then I'm going to object, transform, reflect and make sure that you're doing it on the vertical axis and click on copy. And then just with the arrow key, move along. And then you'll need to zoom in to make sure that it's accurate. So go control Y. And those lines should be touching. 
but not overlapping. So with my selection tool, I might need to just zoom in a little bit more and then hold down the shift key because I want to keep the same horizontal axis and just move it across. It's overlapping slightly. I think that's okay. Okay, so now I have the teeth there and I have to put in this center one. So I could find the center point of the circle if it was, I'll just do it based on this. So I've got my ruler, click on there, drag out, here's my center point. Okay, that's gonna come in handy because I'm using the pen tool again. I'll start at the bottom. I'll go up to here and when it's lined up with the horizontal line, I'll click there, hold down the shift key and go to the center. Now I need to give it a line, so window down to stroke if it's not already open on your desktop. Um, give it the same weight as the other lines, which are four point. And you can see that it doesn't look very good at this point. So I can move it across for a start. I'm trying to maintain the same spacing that I have on the other icons, which when you look a bit closer aren't perfect. So move it to about there. Just to make it easier on myself, I'm going to zoom into here with the direct selection tool I'm going to click on this node and hold down the shift key drag it back to that center point and then with the selection tool click I'm zooming out um, object transform reflect and again it's on vertical copy and with the arrow key take it out and have a look at the edit to see if you think it's aligned maybe it needs to move over ever so slightly and then with the direct selection tool click and drag so that you're just selecting those two middle nodes there you don't want the center line. Oops. So you click and drag and do control J, which is to join it. But first I think we need to get rid of this guideline. So do it again. Control J and that now joins those two lines. So you can see here these lines are rounded and these ones have sharp corners and that's because over here in corners I had changed that. So now that is the same. Okay, so now I have all the elements for the character. Everything's aligned. Uh, so now I'll go object, unlock all. I'll move this away. And you can see everything now that's sitting there, which is a lot. So the first thing I'm going to do is Select, so select my circle and the bones, holding down the shift key to add to the selection. And then I'm going to go to the outline tool here. Um, so it loses its weight, line weight. So then I'll click on this, I'll fill it black. And I will make the stroke four points again, so up the top here. Some of you have it on the side. So make that stroke four point. So now you can see nodes have been added where they joined. So that means I get the direct selection tool, which is a white field arrow. Click twice because once removes the line, two removes those um, endpoints there. And they're gonna get in the way if you don't get rid of them. So now I just merged these two first so that I didn't have a whole lot of other things that were overlapping. So these lines don't belong.
So remember, just click everything twice. You can click and drag multiple areas at the same time. And be careful not to take away the wrong shape. Nearly done. So if you do uh, delete the wrong one, just do control Z, which I just did. And then zoom in so it makes it easier to get the right ones. Okay, so there you've got that. And there's another little dot here which needs to go, and another one. Not sure where that's coming from. Okay. So there's your icon. Um, do control A so you can see if there's anything else. I'm going to do a copy and paste first. <clears throat> So this isn't merged as yet the whole lot, so I will do the outline tool and then change it all to four point again and make sure it's filled black. There we go. So now you have your little icon and this little, there was something hidden there before, which we don't want. That was the center point when I was rotating the um, the bones. So I take it to Y and hope it hasn't, okay, there we go. All right, so now you've got your icon. Uh, you've just got lines and the reason it's a good idea to do lines is because then if you wanna put it into a shape like a circle or a rectangle um, you can do a rounded rectangle, so click on these little pointers up here. You can get your selection tool and you can um, align centre, horizontal and vertical. Um, you can see I'm doing this quickly, so you would take more time. Um, I will get this and I would fill it black, so use the arrow there to switch it over. Then I will go object, arrange, centre back. Then I would click on my icon, which I can't get to now. <clears throat> I would change those outlines to white. And align it again because I had to move it. Okay, so you've got options like that. Um, if you think that lines are starting to disappear or if they need to be more rounded you can go to stroke you can do rounded edges on everything uh, you can change the point size and experiment with what you think looks better um, you can go back to the drawing board and you can start again if you think you need to move eyes or anything around or the nose up a little bit you've got all those options um, so that's the brief in introduction into how to make an icon thanks everyone